Mr. Sock's World of Rock is brought to you in part by PPAC Gladstone Bank, Paulson Insulation, Energy Conservation Specialists, The Art of Music, a unique provider of collectibles, Marigolds, Fresh Every Day, Mondo, Eat, Shop, Play, Tito's Burritos and Wings, KBX2 Media, and World of Rock, Music Lessons, and more. Kids! It's Mr. Socks. Are you ready to rock? It's time to rock. Let's go! Bam! Kids. Hi, this is Brad Birkenall from Beale Street in Memphis, Tennessee, and you are watching Mr. Socks World of Rock. Kids, welcome to Mr. Socks World of Rock. Welcome to the show. Today, we're going down to Asbury Park, New Jersey. We're going to the beach. Some people call it the beach, but if you live in New Jersey, you call it the Jersey Shore. And I'm going to meet, and we're going to meet, Jill the artist down there. She's going to show us a food truck called the Sandbox. She did all the artwork on this food truck. It is awesome. Also, the word of the day is practice. And my friend who lives in Pigeon Ford, Tennessee, his name is Dan. Danny is a professional magician. He can do all types of crazy stuff. And he's gonna talk about the importance of practicing. Because if you don't practice, you can never get really good at something. So sit back, relax, Turn that TV up. Let's go! You are watching Mr. Soft World of Rock. So rock Kids, when you're at the beach, and if it's really sunny out, make sure you have some skin protection on. For example, like a lotion, or maybe a hat, or a t-shirt, because the sun's rays are super strong. Be careful out there. I'm getting a text. It's Dan. It's Danny the Magician. He's sending me a clip right now. Kids, check this out. It's about practicing. It's your old friend Danny Devaney from beautiful Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and I'm here at the world famous Comedy Barn Theater to help you explain practice. That's right, I heard that today's word is practice. You're talking all about practicing, and I know you practice your music really hard. You practice a lot on that guitar, man. You're awesome, Mr. Socks. Mr. Socks rocks. But I had to practice too. I do a lot of really stupid things for a living. That's right, one of them is juggling. That's not the stupidest thing I do, but that's juggling, and that took a lot of practice. You gotta start off with one. I cannot tell you how much time I spent throwing one ball back and forth and back and forth. 
took a lot of practice before you can add the second one. And then once you add the second one, that takes a lot of practice too before you're ready to add the third one. You gotta practice a whole lot before you really get it going here. Just gotta keep on practicing before you can step it up to the clubs. You can do the clubs too, you get them going, you gotta practice those too. Practice, 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 that's good. And guess what? You also need to practice if you wanna get to using the knives. That's right, kids. Don't run out there and grab the knives. No, no, don't do that. You gotta practice first. But not with the knives. Start off with the balls or the scarves. And then one day you'll get ready and you'll be ready to do all of this. Hi Welcome to Mr. Sock's Rock and Mail Call, where you give us great questions and we give you rocking answers. First up, Matt from South Playfield wants to know, Mr. Socks, when did you start playing a musical instrument? Well, I'll tell you, I was probably eight years old and my mom and dad, they bought me a guitar and I started playing guitar. And that was the first musical instrument that I started to play. Then in fifth grade, I started to play the violin because it was kind of similar, a little bit. And then after that, I went back to guitar. Thanks. That's a rotten good question. Keep them coming. Kids, I'm getting another text. He's gonna send me a clip escaping from a straitjacket. Are you serious? Check this out. Hey, Mr. Socks, I wanna show you one more thing that I practiced. And I practiced and practiced and practiced this a lot to get it right. And it's escaping from a straitjacket. It's about the most unique trick I do, and it took a lot of practice. So much so, though, that I was able to escape from a straitjacket while on a zip line. I was the first and only person in the world to ever do that. And all it took was a whole lot of practice. <laughs> practice. <laughs> practice. <laughs> I gotta work on that one more. All right, next up, we have Jill. Jill from Scotch Plains wants to know, how many strings are on a bass guitar? Well, that would be four. Four strings are on a bass guitar. Sometimes there's five, but I've seen a lot of bass guitars and normally four strings. That's a rotten good question. Kids, I'm getting another text. It's Dan again from Pigeon Ford, the Comedy Barn Theater. He's gonna show us something that he does with ping pong balls. Check this out. Hey, Mr. Sox, it's your friend Danny Devaney from the world famous Comedy Barn Theater in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And I know we're still talking about practice, and you're thinking, what does that have to do with practice? Well, I'm gonna show you. You see, I juggle ping pong balls in my mouth. Instead of talking about it, I'm gonna be about it. Look at that! Yeah! Now that took some practice. Harry from New Providence wants to know, Mr. Sox, do you have a brother or sister? I have a brother. He is three and a half years younger than me. So he's my little brother, but actually he's, he's bigger than me now, which is awesome. But uh, yep, I have a younger brother. I'm getting a text. It's Dan. It's Dan the Magician. He's gonna be sending me, he's sending me a clip. Check this out, guys. He's sending me a clip about practicing. Hey, Mr. Socks, you know what? Juggling's not the only skill I had to practice. No, I've got a lot of stupid skills. Here's another one right here. This is plate spinning. That is like the original fidget spinner right there. And if you keep practicing, you could do some really cool tricks with this too. Like that one. Yeah, it was spinning on the whole way around. Ain't that awesome, Mr. Socks? Kids, it's Mr. Socks. I am now an author. That's right, kids, an author. I wrote a book. It's a children's book. It's about my buddy, Johnny. But we call him Johnny Woolip back in the day for a reason. And I'll tell you a little bit about him. We gave him that name Johnny Woolip because he never smiled. The kid never smiled. I told him jokes. I did funny dances. I made funny faces. And he never smiled. And that's why we called him Johnny Woolip because his two lips, they never separated. They never did. It looked like one. And that's why we call him Johnny Wellman. The book is available on the official Johnny Wellman website. www.whoisjohnnywellman.com. 
Amazon.com. And also, it's available on Amazon. So rockstar. Hey, this is Danny Devaney from the world famous Comedy Born Theater, and you're watching Mr. Socks World of Rock. And we're still talking about practice. You might not know it right now, but I'm practicing something. This is called the Rolla Bola, and it takes a lot of practice. This can be very dangerous until you get it right, but once you do, you can make it interesting and entertaining by adding some elements to it, like the spinning plate. You can add one of these, and to make that even more fun, of course, you can always add a mouth stick. Woo! And then the other club. What? The other club. What? Other club. Oh, Kids, if you want to send some mail to the show, send me an email. Mr. Socks at MrSocksWorldOfRock.com. Right here below. It's right here below. Mr. Socks at MrSocksWorldOfRock.com. Send me some questions. Awesome. Since we're at the beach, let's go find Brad the Fisherman and see how he's doing. Hey kids, this is Brad the Fisherman and you're watching Mr. Socks World of Rock. Kids, we are out in the beautiful, what is this? This is what you call a peanut bunker. Peanut bunker, and what are we gonna do with that? Well, Mr. Socks, we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it on this hook and we're gonna hopefully catch some fish. What type of fish would eat a peanut bunker? I guess whichever one's hungry now, wouldn't it be? Let's find out. Kids. This is unbelievable. Mr. Socks has one on the line. Kids, let's make some noise for Brad the Fisherman. What an incredible day we had today. I am now down here at Asbury Park with the owner of the Sandbox. This is Jenny. Make some noise for Jenny, everybody. Hello, Mr. Socks. What's up, Jenny? Hey. This is a beautiful Sandbox food truck. Was this your dream? It was kind of my dream. My dream was to live by the beach. My partner and I, Greg, decided to do a food truck. And here we are. What types of food do you have on the truck? So we do deli style um, sandwiches, subs, salads. And um, our concept was like a grab and go style. So you could take everything down to the beach in a nice little box and it sits nicely in the sand um, and it's been working out really well. And this area of Asbury Park is called North Eats? This is North Eats. And are you the only food truck here? We are not. There are oh. six food trucks here, six. Um, wow. but we are the only sandwich sub truck. And then you have ice cream, you have empanadas, oh, cream, pliable, um, Johnny Pork Roll. Fun. Okay, cool. And I also met uh, your workers, uh, Phil, Nick, and Daniel. I was yes. actually inside the food truck. I'm not sure Isn't if you know awesome? that, but I was actually inside. <laughs> it was really fun. A lot of fun. It's awesome, yeah. And what I love about the food truck, too, is that this awesome design by Julia Artist. Yes, here's Jill. Jill. Come on come over. On come on over. Hello, hello. <laughs> hi, hi. This is our fabulous artist, Jill and our very dear friend, we love her. Now Jenny, how long did it take for her to actually make this, this whole art piece? So first she practiced um, the design of what we wanted on nice. the truck. Practice. And practice. Yes, and we thought we would do a wrap, like a lot of these trucks are wrapped in vinyl. Yeah. And, uh, and, and Jenny kind of came up with the concept of like, let's wrap it in a white, like flat canvas so that we can paint it however and we it. however we want it. We could be super creative with our ideas and that it could you know, move forward, it could be added to as we went. And uh, so that's how it started. There's a blank canvas and with some of Jenny's ideas. Uh, Jenny's from California. So originally, the whole, originally, originally yes. and that's why we wanted that whole like kind of like so Southern Cali kind of feel to our Surfer, boat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we call it the boat. That's boat. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. So and then we practiced making sandwiches and salads and tried to come up with the best 
recipes that work for us. So if you practice hard, you too can own your own food truck. Now, what is your favorite sandwich on the food truck? The Italian sub. I, ju it's I, had, I just had it. I had that earlier. <laughs> it, I think it's our that. signature it's really sandwich. Good. It's really good. Yeah. Yes. It's really fresh. And also, too, what I liked about it is that the rolls were nice and soft. <gasps> we get our rolls yes. every morning from Nino's Bakery in Nino's. West Long Branch. Nice. Thank okay. you, Nino's. Um, and we do our uh, fruit infused water. It's really refreshing on a hot day like today. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see watermelon Powerful. in there. Yes, so it's watermelon, cucumber, tons of ice, and we let it infuse all morning. And by the time we open up, it's awesome. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What does infuse actually mean? Infused means... <laughs> infused means it's you put your fruit or whatever you want it, your water to taste like. Uh -huh and you let it soak in the water and after an hour or so, your water is flavored by what you put in there. So, Rockstar Kids, we're at we're at and down at the Jersey Shore in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Our office is the beach. Office yes. is the beach, not a, not, not, not a bad thing. Not, not a, a bad, bad job, place. right guys? And right. Mr. Socks rocks. Mr. Socks rocks. Woo! Woo! Artist Jill is with me. It's a beautiful day at the Jersey Shore. 7th Avenue and Ocean. 7th Avenue and Ocean. This place is called North Eats. We are in food truck heaven. Absolutely. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It really a is A community good. of food trucks uh, about six. And right behind us is our truck called the Sandbox. And kids, actually, Jill the artist did the artwork on the food truck. It is amazing. Beach theme for sure, and it is awesome. Professionally done. High five. High five. <laughs> Kids, what a show. It was amazing. We learned a lot today. What's a food truck? Well, now you know. The Sandbox is the best place if you want to find great food that's fresh. It's down at Asbury Park and Northeast. Jenny was very nice to let us check out her food truck, and we wish her the best. Also, We've met Dan the Magician. How awesome is this guy? Straight out of Pigeon Ford, Tennessee at the Comedy Barn Theater. That guy is seriously talented. But you know what? He had to practice before he became that good. And kids, that's the message for the show. Practicing. Practice. What does it take to become good? You have to keep doing it. Practicing is the mother of skill. My dad always said that. Practicing is the mother of skill. In order to get good at something, you have to practice. Also, Brad the Fisherman, amazing job, buddy. Thank you. Guys, we'll see you next time. Be well, be safe, and keep rocking. Um, Paul's eating uh, our most popular sandwich at the Sandbox, the Italian sub. Mr. Sox, we'll call him Paul. Take two, take two. <laughs> Kids, we're at the Jersey Shore. Paul's having the most popular sandwich from the sandbox, the Italian sub. And don't call me Paul, call me Paul again. I did. You did. I did? Really? Did I call you Paul the Yeah, you did. Oh, I did? <laughs> Paul's having the most popular sandwich from the sandbox, the Italian sub. So I called him. Can so we... Paul, so don't call me Paul. <laughs> take, take three, take three. Yeah. <clears throat> Kids. It's Mr. Socks and Jill the Artist. We're at the Jersey Shore. Some people call it the beach, but when you're in New Jersey, it's the Jersey Shore. Homemade guacamole, and Paul's eating one of the Sandbox favorites. Paul's... Oh! <laughs> oh, <God! laughs> Wait. How can I not get Okay. The... <laughs> so, Artist Jill, tell the kids back at home, what am I eating right now? It's, it's delicious. Mr. Socks, it is the world famous Italian sub from the sandbox. Oh, oh so fresh, made Very fresh, fresh, right in front of your face. 
and right Why on the board, right in front of your face. <laughs>